Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video here, we are going to actually start building out our course. We've been spending a lot of time looking at the templates, kind of trying to figure out what they do, how to work with them, how to demystify them. And now we're finally going to get around to building the actual course itself. So again, we came in here where we normally would to our site overview down to our courses. And right now I have absolutely no courses in here. So we are going to say we want to create a new course. And what they do is they give you three options here to start with. Blank is pretty self-explanatory. It's just blank. You have a basic course and then we have a nested course. And at first I'm going to uh, grab one here that is nested just to show you an example of a nested course. They go pretty deep on this one. So I figured I'd just show you this one first. And we're just going to, we're just going to say here, demo nested course. You can put in a description if you want, but that's purely optional. So I'll just type in the word optional. And then we're going to want to put in a, an image here because this image is what's going to show up on the customer center page. So we want to, I'm sorry, this is the theme first. We've got to pick our theme first. It won't let you go forward and save it without the theme. So we're going to put in the singular theme that we are using. Then we're going to pick our image. And so let's just say we're going to call this one here the course versus course. These are just some images, again, I found on the interweb somewhere. And now we are going to create our course. And I will tell you this right now, in case I forget to tell you ever again, the biggest issue people run into is they go, okay, I can't see my course. Why is my course not showing up in my customer center or wherever? Well, there's three levels where you have to remove this from draft and put it into publish mode before it will work. So the first one here is at the course level, but then also at the module level and the lesson level. So you have to have the course set to public and then also at least one module and at least one lesson within that module all need to be set to public. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see this thing anywhere. You're not going to be able to enroll anybody into it. It basically it's dead until those three things are turned to publish. And I think that includes if you set this as a drip delay on this content right here, if you set that to a drip delay, that it will also uh, not show up either. But I'm not sure about that part. That's something we'd have to check on. But as long as I'm talking about it, let's just go here. And I can say, okay, now let us publish this. So now it's published. Well, it's not published yet. We can make it available sometime in the future. So here we are, the 4th of November, 2022. Let's say we want it to be the 17th of November, and we will click apply, and we will update the course. And now it says publishing. Now it'd be nice if it said publishing and then like a date on there, or publishing in, in 11 days or something like that. Uh, but okay, I guess it says live. Uh, November 7th at 2.40 p.m. Okay, so you got to hover over it to get it to show that. But we're going to take it out of that mode, put it back into draft, and they need a to fix that up a little bit there. And now we're just going to say publish. And if you want to publish it immediately, you just click on update course. Now it is published, which we didn't have to do in order to do what we're going to go forward and look at here, but that's okay. So we can open in a new window. We can duplicate it. We can edit our layout or we can edit our settings. So let's just click on edit the layout. I think this, yeah, okay, this is gonna take us into here. We're not quite ready to go there yet. Um, so we'll come back to our course. And so had we, let's go back here real quick. Had we clicked on this gear, it would take us to this page right here, which is not the page I was thinking it was gonna take us to, but we gotta go here anyway. So let me see here, we got our theme chosen. Now down here in our advanced stuff, just like as in earlier stuff I was looking at it saying, uh, don't really need to use this. Maybe you're going to use um, the, the style guide. Maybe not. Probably not is the answer. And all these here are set in here to override things. I would probably stay away from uh, turning on any of these. As of the last time I tried to turn one of these on, I clicked on it. I couldn't turn it back off again. Plus, I don't really think they're necessary. Down here, you can do a share link if you want. You can also delete it, even though I think at this point the deletion is not necessarily working. But we will say we want to update our course. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to click over here on the course and we're going to come back into this page that we saw a minute ago. Now remember, we started with a preset nested course. So because of that, we have several modules already set up in here. So let's open up our module B1. There's also then a B2 module nested inside of here with a bunch of lessons. And then we have a, another nested module B3 in here with lessons as well. So you got lessons for B1 are these lessons here. B2 are the ones down here. Actually, this is B1. Let me see here. Do I need to... Okay, so, so I guess the only thing inside of B2 is B3, and then A, A2, A3. So they got the same setup on the two of these here. Now, just a couple of things I wanted to show you in here is you can move these lessons around. So that's pretty nice. You can move the lessons around, but you can also take this lesson and now move it up here into A2 if you want. And so let's say we want to move this lesson up here to A2 as well. And then I wonder if we can we even... Let's say we don't want module three indented um, as part of A2. So let's see here. I think if I add it up here. Okay, so that works. So that is now at the level of A, A2 and A3 are at the same level. So then let's say we want to move these up into A3. Will that work? That's not working inside of A3. I wonder if I can get it in there. Eh, maybe not. I'm not really sure. But either way, you can move these things around, play around with it a little bit, and see um, how you can nest them in there. And then, as you see here, all of these modules, lessons, everything are published. Normally, what they're going to do is they're going to come as a draft. And uh, so this one's going to become as a draft as well. So normally, when you just create it straight out of the box and it's blank, everything will come in as draft. So again, remember, you have to have the course, one module, and one lesson within that module turned on for you to be able to see this thing anywhere. And so in this case here, we can say we want to publish this right away. We want to drip it. So that means we're going to days till drip access. So we can say, okay, well, we don't want this to be released until this module to be released until seven days after the person bought the course. So we can set that for seven days. We will update that. It says drip, and then you hover over it, and it says the days to the drip. But in this case here, we're going to say we just want to publish it. And again, we can do a date delay on that, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to say... Um, we're going to do that. So the other thing I didn't see in here, let me just go back in here, um, update the module. Okay, so we go back to draft. Now we're coming back to publish. It says auto enroll existing students in this module. So let's say you had built out three modules and you had 20 students come in there already. And then you could say, okay, well, I built out another module. I want those students to all get enrolled in there. So you would click on yes for that. And then so send auto enroll email notification. So we're going to see over here, uh, when you sit, click on settings, there are automatic emails that get sent out. So you click that to yes if you want that email to be triggered and sent out to them. And then for a lesson itself, you got two choices. You got draft or you got publish. That's it. No drip delay, nothing else. So you can date delay courses you can drip delay modules and i think you could also date delay modules but for lessons once you publish that module all the lessons go live immediately inside of each one of those modules so now let's back out of here again and what i want to do is come over here to the gear and i want to see if i can actually delete this thing because i don't really want it in there we'll see what happens when i click on delete chances are because they're having all kinds of all kinds of things at this point here are not being allowed to be deleted, and it's probably because it would cause more problems to allow them to be deleted than not at this point. And so that's cool. It's not like it has to be out of there. Yeah, so that's what I figured was going to happen. So we'll come back in here, and let me refresh my page, and it's still there. That's just fine. We're going to create a new course right now. And we're going to create this one out of a blank course so I can show you how to add things in. And it seems we are working on our success path course. We're going to do that. 
Again, description is optional. It pre-fills in the URL for you, tells you if it's available or not. If not, it'll append some numbers and letters to the end. Again, we will pick out our singular theme that we have, and we're gonna pick an image again. And let's just pick, uh, let's do this image here. So there is our image for our uh, for our course that will then show up in the customer center when we go there. So now we're going to add some new modules. So we're going to do this. We're going to give our module a name and just to be uh, super lazy, we're just going to call this module one. And then we can give each one of these modules a um, an image as well. And if you think about it, when you're in the customer center, you get your course images in there. And then when you go to your course, you get your module images. And when you're at your module level, you get your, your lesson images. Now, eventually what you'll probably do is you'll stop using the modules all together, at least as far as uh, on the site where people see. But in this case here, we're going to put in images at all levels. So let's just select this. And we'll just use this image right there for our module number one. And we will create our module. And then as long as we are at it, let's just create another module right away. So we're going to say we want to add our module. And so we're going to say we want this to be module number two because we're being lazy here on our numbering as we build out this example. And we're going to put in an image. And so we'll use the traffic secrets image for that. And we will go there. Also on the right hand side, it said that there were some advanced settings over here. So let's take a look at this. So showing us that it's currently in draft and our advanced settings say, okay, we can choose our, our, um, our page template again. I always forget the name of that, the page, page style. That's what it is. Um, we can choose our style right there if we want. And then here we can choose our module. Uh, template if we want. So we'll click on that and we'll come in here. And so then the question is, is which one of these do we use? So we have just our singular theme and then we have our courses section template page, our course template page and our courses template page. Well, if you recall, when we were setting this up, and now again, we are at the module level here, not the course, we are at the module level. So again, our levels start off over here. You can see customer center, then course, then module, then lesson. And if you recall, I named everything on purpose because right here you can see in the text now that this is our module lesson. So that's going to tell us that's our module lesson. This, I mean, our module template it says module lessons, but it's the module or section template. Here is our course home or course template page. And then here's that mystery page that I don't really know what it's for. So because we marked this here, we can see it on our template. We know which one we want to use. So we're going to click right there and we are going to submit that. And then we are going to update our module. And let me just go back in there. Let's see if there was anything else we needed to look at. We got our thumbnail image, a small image. Well, what happened? That's okay. It is there. Just had to expand it. Um, so that is there. So that's good. So let's come back in here and let's do the same thing for module number two. And it's still set to draft. We'll leave it there for now because I don't think I set the course to public yet. That should still be a draft as well. So then we're going to click on that image. Luckily, it populated and we can see what it looked like. And again, here we got our traffic secrets image. So we will do that. Now what we can do is we can put in our lessons and you see there's a plus sign for each of these right there. So here you can add a module and here you can collapse them all if you want, but I guess it just collapses the lessons. And then we can click on our plus and we can add either a module or a lesson. If you add a module, it will well, actually, let me see here. So if we add a module, it should add it as a child element. So here we got module, uh, let's say this is one, dash one or well let's let's do this let's call it let's call it sub module one just to see where it's going to show up let's give it an image like we've been doing so we'll give it the list building image and then we will again give it a template and again we want that to be a module template so we will submit that we'll create our module 
And so there we go. Now we have our submodule one. So in order to, to create a submodule, you click on the plus of a module and you tell it to add another module. And then let's see here. Let's say I want to get rid of this module. I put it in the wrong place or something. Let's see if we can delete that module out of there. And there you go. It's gone. Okay, good. Because I just wanted to create something very simple. So let's add our lesson. So here we are going to say lesson. We'll just call this 1-1. So it's section one and then lesson one. And then we are going to expand this out again. We're going to grab ourselves an image. We'll use that list builder image again. And now we have down here the ability to put in an audio or a video. So let's see here. So as of this point, I have not put any assets in here. So let's do this. Let's create this lesson and let's bounce out of here real quick. I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's bounce out of here, go to my assets and we're going to go to videos. I don't have an audio file available right now to put in here. So we will put in just this singular video file and we will upload our course video. We're going to give this a name of, uh, what are we calling this here? success path test video and so now we have to grab a video so let me do this okay let me grab one of the videos actually i've just been recording right now i will grab this video i will drag it in there and it will start uploading it's saying uploading at zero percent and we can put in an image for it if we want, a poster image. So let's select an image as long as we are here. And we'll just use that one right there. And it says it's at 0%. So what I will do is pause recording until that gets uploaded. Okay, so that took about five minutes or so to upload. So we're going to create our video. And now we have our video right here. And it says that it is still processing. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen as far as us connecting it to our course. And so we're going to come in here. We got our success path course right there. We have our lesson. Let's go back into continue editing our lesson. And we will go to our video settings and we can select a video. And okay, so we do have our video there. Now, whether it will be working at this point or not, um, I don't know because it is still processing, but we were able to pull it in. So now when we put the video element, the lesson video element on the page, not the general video element, the lesson specific video element on the page, this video will play in here and it will only play on this particular lesson. So we can now update our lesson. Now, as of the filming of this, I've been told that if you have um, if you have multiple lessons and all the lessons have the uh, lesson um, the lesson video element in it, you have to have all of them set up and all of them have to have a video, or that all of your lessons have to have the lesson video element or something like that, or they won't play. So again, that's kind of a bug that's going on right now, November 4th, 2022. Uh, so hopefully by the time you get in here, you will not any longer be seeing that. Or of course, you can always just put your videos somewhere else and use the general video element. So right now we have enough of this set up that we can go in and start taking a look at um, what else we have to do in order to set up each one of these lessons and modules and everything else. But I think I'm going to stop right now on this and then we'll jump into that in the next video where we're going to go in and we're going to start customizing our lessons themselves. So again, any questions, just let me know.